It's time for our daily business chat with Richard Southern. Movie theaters reopened a few weeks ago here in Ontario, but the challenge continues in terms of getting customers back in those seats, Richard. Have you been back to the movies, Erica? I have not yet. No, I still feel, I'll admit, I still feel a bit hesitant about that. Uh, I went. It was pretty good because they space everybody out. It's what you've always wanted. No elbows. <laughs> True. Knocking your popcorn. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, Cineplex uh, certainly uh, trying to get the moviegoers back, Eric. And one of the ways they're trying to do it now is by, for the first time, offering a subscription service. They just rolled this out today. It's called Sin Club. It costs $9.99 per month. What do you get for that? Well, you get one free movie ticket, which doesn't expire, so you could... Uh, accumulate those. The company says additional tickets can be bought at a discounted rate. You also get 20% off concessions, so your popcorn and your your peanuts and so that's forth. Big. Uh, ten, that's big. because we Yeah, that's the big part of going to the movie for me, Eric. I don't know about you. Uh, anyway, Cineplex hoping this is going to bring some people in the door. The company reported earnings today, a loss of $103 million. Revenue, though, a bit better than expected. The stock edged higher. You know, some of the theaters in the States, Erica, they have a a uh, subscription service whereby you pay one price and you can go to as many movies as you want. This is not that, but we'll see if it catches on. Or not. All right. And uh, we saw a series of big cryptocurrency heists earlier this week, but some of those thieves are actually returning their stolen loot, Richard. <laughs> yeah, imagine a bank robber going back to the bank and <laughs> saying, hey, yeah. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> That's actually what's happened here. $600 million in cryptocurrency was stolen uh, last week by, by hackers. They stole it from a, uh, a company uh, that uh, connects different blockchains together called Poly Networks. But in a strange turn of events, the hackers have begun returning the funds. They actually send a note saying we're ready to return. And experts say this might speak to the fact that while that the hackers can steal these currencies, these digital currencies easily, they can't launder them very easily. It's difficult to cash them out. Uh, meantime, speaking of cryptocurrency, soccer superstar Lionel Messi just signed a new deal with the Paris Saint-Germain team, uh, Erica, for $41 million a year. He's going to be partly paid, though, in cryptocurrency, underlying just how popular crypto is these days. Wow. Okay. And finally, Facebook is testing out a new way to support faith communities. Never mind a poke. How about a prayer? Facebook is rolling out, Erica, a new prayer feature, which is being applauded by some of the religious community, but panned by others. It lets users request a prayer for, you know, a job interview or an illness or for any matter. Other users that can then tap an I prayed button or respond with a like or a comment. Many priests and pastors have applauded the move. Others, though, worry that Facebook isn't just doing this out of uh, pure selflessness. Uh, they worry that it's, you know, Facebook looking for more engagement. They also worry about what it might do with the info. Of course, Facebook uses the information on its platform to target ads at you, although the company says advertisers won't be able to see your particular prayer requests. But mm. that's kind of a controversial one, don't you think? Yeah, I don't know about that. I guess it's faith moving into a new age, but that's interesting. Suppose so. Yeah.